Hello there, YouTube. I hope you're doing well. I have uh, recently sort of hit um, an Elden Ring uh, like invader block, almost. Um, I sat down to do some invasions. I'm, I, I'm streaming Final Fantasy 16 during the week. Uh, I'm in New Game Plus. I'm doing the arcade mode. I'm doing all this stuff, you know, and uh, it's a blast. I'm having a, a great time with it. Um, so on the weekends when I'm not streaming, I sit down to do some invasions, and I love doing invasions, but I'm just not in the mood to do anything that is, uh, you know, like, I just want to be a guy with a sword and a shield, you know? That's it. That's all I feel like doing, is just, uh, running around with a straight sword and a shield, and, you know, like, the Lucerne just those old school weapons that I like so much. Also, of course, the jar cannon or the ballista. Of course, that's there as well. But you, you know what I'm saying? Like all of the crazy flavor builds that I built, I'm just not feeling like doing anything with them right this minute. You know? I'm sure it's just a temporary thing, but you just can't beat, uh, in my estimation, uh, good old fundamental sword and board you know I, I love it too much and so that's what I did this weekend uh, I, I was doing some invasions with one of my um, arcane builds and I was just not feeling it like the invasions that I would get I was like uh, I bet I could have had more fun with that if I had a sword and shield and <laughs> so I eventually just gave up and just switched to sword and shield also, I don't know, this guy right here, he seems like the type of guy who might watch my YouTube channel. I get what you're going for, guy. He's like, his name's Heavy Knight, he's a gravity guy, and you fight him here, uh, where you fight the Falling Star Beast. I get it. I get what you're going for. But homie, you have chosen, like the worst spawn location of all time. I invaded this guy three times, and this is the only time where he wasn't, like, literally an entire Mount Gelmir away. And I am just not, I'm just not running all that way. And, I, and if I use the Phantom Bloody Finger, there's a, you know, 50% chance it puts me right in front of that Erd tree that has the uh, ulcerated tree spirit on it, you know what I'm talking about? It's like a 50-50 shot. But, um, you know, I appreciate the character and the, the flavor of it all, but uh, I'm not running all that way for a one versus one. Uh, yeah. So, in case you happen to be watching, hello. Uh, G good game. GG's, as they say. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's why I kept severing out of your world. And I, I would assume many other people also sever out because it's just so much. There's just so much there. Uh, this build, for those of you who don't know, if you want to check my build showcases uh, playlist on like the, the YouTube channel page, you'll see a little playlist with Elden Ring builds and showcase. Uh, and that's, you know... You'll find this build. It's a level 80 build. It's a strength build. Rather than go flame art, I went heavy infusion on everything. And we really lean into the spear talisman, counter hits, etc. I've always loved the Lucerne. And uh, when this game first came out, a lot of people were mad because the Lucerne didn't do pierce damage. And myself included. Uh, so what I did was I put Warcry on the Lucerne and that made all of the heavy attacks do pierce damage and it is absolutely disgusting if you land a Warcry heavy attack with the Spear Talisman and you get a counter hit it's absolutely filthy. So uh, yeah I've been running this um, since I made this build, and this is one of the earlier builds that I made. 
But yeah, I, I really like this build. It's just a very simple strength build that does a lot of pierce damage. I, I always have the spear talisman on, uh, and then I switch up the dagger talisman. If my opponent has a shield, I'll switch to the hammer talisman so that I can get the guard break. Uh, and then I have Alexander's Jar Shard on this build, but if I'm using the Lucerne with Warcry, I switch that for the Roar Talisman, which makes uh, Warcry, Braggart's Roar, all those, it makes all those do more damage. Uh, as well as uh, some, some magic spells. People were upset because the Roar Talisman was, it buffed, it got buffed to also apply that effect to the dragon spells. The, you know, the breath weapon spells that you can cast. However, it also now buffs um, Howl of Shabriri, which is hilarious. It doesn't make it any better. It is not worth, but it does buff it. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. I don't know that anybody has discussed that. I've not seen anybody mention it. Um, I It was like the first thing I tried when they said, oh yeah, we changed that talisman so that now it applies to certain spells as well. Everybody was, you know, worried about the dragon incantations, but I was curious, and so I tested it on Howl of Shabriri, and it does buff it now, which is funny. Again, it's not worth... I mean, if some data mining nerd wants to look into it, you could see exactly what it's doing, but in my experience, it wasn't worth messing with. This is one of those invasions where, uh, you know, you will love this as an if you invade an Elden Ring, if you're an invader, you're going to love this invasion. These guys just stand here and cast spells and just throw stuff at me for, you know, a solid two and a half minutes or whatever it is. Uh, and anytime they actually come close enough to hit, they, you know, they get hit. And so they're like, oh, this doesn't work. Immediately retreat and stand 20 feet away and just throw spells at him again. And this is like the entirety of their game plan. And it can be frustrating because uh, a lot of times this game plan will just work. If this is the most frustrating thing in the world to you, uh, I highly recommend you get the Crimson World Wondrous Physic uh, as well as the Leaden Hard Tier, I think it is. The one that gives you... Um, the one that gives you poise, that one. Get that one. And the Crimson World. And you will no longer feel angry. Anyway, here's some here's here's your moment of bliss. And then this guy just Like what is wrong with these people? Speaking of what's wrong with people, I've been looking at my YouTube comment section. And anytime I upload a video, um you know, the, the notification squad watches it, and that's, you know, about 5,000, 6,000, up to 10,000. Um, and then, after that, the video is just sort of, like, sacrificed on the altar of the algorithm. Will it catch on? Will it not? Who knows? Who can say? But when it does catch on, and the video starts reaching into the playlists of people who don't typically watch my videos uh, I, you know that's when I'll, I'll I'll check my little I have a little app called YouTube studio on my phone and it just shows me comments as they come in when I when I open the app it has a little section for comments and I'll notice people commenting on older videos and when I see people commenting a lot on an older video, it means that that video is is being passed around on the algorithm, which is, you know, it's just one of those things w that I have no control over at all, and just YouTube decides that they're just going to start showing that video to people. Uh, and in that case, the, the comments are always, you know, very, you know, unlike... St. Riot's typical YouTube comment section. Uh, I get like incredible f 
you know, 700 chapter books about how Elden Ring PvP is bad compared to, uh, insert other game here, you know, um, and, but this is, these are the comments that have been worrying me. A lot of you people are saying that my videos are weird or strange. And, um, that, like, I'm saying weird things. Uh, or making weird voices. And I just want to, you know, sort of check on y'all. If you're hearing strange voices when you're watching a Saint Riot video, uh, or if it just sounds like I'm speaking gibberish, um, you know, please go, uh, consult a physician. You know, maybe check your carbon monoxide detectors. Maybe give those a check. Uh, if you don't have those, maybe get some installed. Maybe check your water filter. Make sure your water filter is not letting lead into your water. Uh, you know, if, if you can. Maybe go buy a water filter if you don't have one. But, um, yeah. Y'all, y'all be safe out there. That, that, that worries me. When I read those comments that say something like that. And when I read those comments that say something like, you know, why is this video so weird? What is his voice? Uh, you know. Make sure you guys are drinking filtered water and make sure you're not breathing in carbon dioxide. You want to be breathing in oxygen. It can have other stuff in it, but it needs to be mostly oxygen. And it needs to be as little carbon dioxide as possible, okay? And now I know that me saying that comes at the cost of, if you know, there's a lot of Americans who just heard me say that, and now they are going to start thinking, oh, okay, St. Riot's gone woke now, um, you know, leave the politics out of the Elden Ring PvP videos. But I'm going to tell you right now that Elden Ring PvP is inherently a political uh, thing, alright? So if me telling you that you need to breathe oxygen and drink water, uh, you know, is woke, then, you know, so be it. I guess I'm awake, you know? And, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, please don't go to sleep without checking that carbon monoxide detector. Always make sure that thing's not beeping, unless it's supposed to beep, in which case make sure it is beeping. Um, mine doesn't beep. I don't know that I have one, honestly. I'm going to go double check that right now. Okay, I said I was going to do that, but instead I just opened up my phone and uh, looked at pictures of cats. Um, but, you know, do as I say, not as I do, basically, is what it's going to come down to. And here's something that you can do. You can hit a slick, ricky-dick backstab. Full-on, ricky-dick, in parentheses, ridiculous, close parentheses, Ricky Dickerson backstab right there. We call that the Ricky Dick Ridiculous Ricky Dickerson backstab is what that one's called. And uh, shout out to my boy, Ricky Dick parentheses, Rick Dickulous, Ridiculous Rick Dickerson, Rick Dickerson. Shout out to him. A lot of y'all know him. A lot of y'all have seen him riding his bicycle up and down the street. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll see him, uh, he doesn't have a shirt on. Sometimes, uh, you know, he goes into the gas station without a shirt on. And you're like, why do they allow this? Uh, and, and it's because just everybody knows him and has known him for so long that he gets a little bit of special treatment. He's allowed to go into the convenience store, uh, Circle K, Quick Stop, Minute Mart, Scott's Market. He's allowed to go into those and not wear a shirt. Um, now the newer the newer gas stations, uh, Tiger Mart and the BP right off the interstate that they just built, um, he they don't know him there, you know, so he's not 
he's not allowed to do it. Well, I, I guess the employees probably know him, but maybe like the managers. You know how they bring in those like out of town managers when they when they first open up uh, a convenience store. Like they're still, you know, like they're still thinking they're the damn police, and they don't let Ricky Dick (parentheses) ridiculous, ridiculous Rick Dickerson. They don't let him in there unless he's got a shirt on. Uh, the other day, I was leaving. I was walking out, and I had uh, some peach gummy rings and a Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And uh, Ricky Dick was like, "Man, I need. Can I borrow your shirt?" And I was like, "Yeah, you can." And I let him borrow my shirt so that he could go in. And when he came back, he just got on his bike and rode off with my shirt. And I was like, "That." that scumbag I can't believe he did that but he did he did do it um, none of this is made up it's all real everything is real all the time never never contemplate the idea that something might just not be true everything is true all the time and so we're using the Lucerne like I said you know I love it don't roll bad oh pause there you go and now we're right back don't roll bad see what we did there you see what we did there usually you hit somebody two or three times and then they kind of like wait I have to stop I have to fix this I didn't give him a chance to have that moment just didn't give him a chance I, I just stopped attacking you know and so then I was able to put him back in the moment you know it's like he was having a flashback this uh this invasion right here pretty good Pretty good. I know it's not a pierce attack, but that's clean. That's clean. That's the power of spinning slash right there. I know a lot of y'all are probably yelling at me, and you want to know what the music is in this video, because you always do. Uh, some of it is from Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster, and some of it's from Final Fantasy XVI. Shout out to the the dude who did the Final Fantasy 16 soundtrack. Sokin, he is incredible. Just an absolute genius. I'm 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 his number one fan right now. I got rules. Absolutely smushed by that cart. But you're about to see the power of the Lucerne. Look at it. Just lucerning all over the place. Let's do it again. Counter hits, hyper armor. What more could you possibly need? Pierce damage, what more could you possibly need? Counter hits, what more could you possibly need? You know what I'm saying? This is another good one. This is one of those, uh, this is one of those montage moments, you know? These guys going in the montage. More spinning slash being beautiful. Look at the hyper armor on that. Getting through an R2 two-handed. They got through a heavy attack two-handed. The hyper armor on that uh, Ash of War right there. Pretty wild. In another video, I was talking about how stairs are where mechanics go to die. I believe Skitter the Tryhard in one of his old videos is who said that. Uh, point is, I'm very surprised that I got that parry, but also that I got that parry. And even more so, that I got the reposts. That's the crazy part, is that I actually got the reposts off those. It's so easy to lose a repost on stairs, but then the stairs are like, oh, are you feeling like I'm your friend? And I was like, yeah, doink, knocked my weapon off the wall. Thanks, wall. <laughs> It wasn't the stairs, it was the wall that was the enemy. Anyway, that's the video. Bunch of fun invasions. I had a really good time. I, I just like Elden Ring PvP. I think it's good. I think it's fun. No matter what my YouTube comments say from carbon monoxide inhaling mutants. Thanks for watching. Later, y'all.